Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Almighty Father, we thank you for this morning. We bless your name because of your faithfulness, of your power, of bringing us to a time in your presence again. As I've come at this time, Lord, we pray. Speak to us and bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let our worship, our looking at your word and seeking your faith be acceptable in your sight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. This morning we are looking at the word of God from the book of Ruth chapter 1. The story of Ruth in Ruth chapter 1 is the story of a family. And in that family, there was famine in the land where they were. There was hunger in the land where they were in Bethlehem. And then they took off and they went to another town because there was famine in their own land. Eventually the father of the family died in that land. Eventually, the two children, the two sons they had in that land, they died. Then it remains the wife, who was Naomi. And then Ruth, the daughter of one of the children. And we also have the other, the other, um, the other one, Opa, that left, that left them and said she was not going to go again. So we are going to pray on this, on this uh, particular Bible uh, story, and then we are going to look at certain things there. But before we go on, let's read Ruth chapter 1 in verse 1. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab. Thank you. And his wife Thank and you. His two sons. Thank you. It said there was famine in the land. So the famine we are experiencing today in Nigeria or in some parts of the world. It is not a new thing. It has been reported in scripture. History has it. Famine has been a long time thing. In the time of famine, they decided to move. And that is what most people do. They will look at where it's good, they will move to where it's good. They live where it's bad, they want to move to where it's good. But the place that is good, some people make it to be good. Some people did what make the place that is good to be good. So, we should learn from that. Famine is not a new thing. It's not Tinubu that brought famine to Nigeria. It's not Buhari that brought famine to Nigeria. It's not Jonathan. It's not Obasan John. It's not any of the presidents. Famine is natural. It depends on many factors. Some of the factors are leadership factors. Some are not leadership factors. The Lord will help us and deliver us in Jesus' name. In the midst of that famine, some people did not leave their land. They stayed in their land. While some people left their land. Some people did what? They left their land. Some people left their land and they prospered where they went to. Some people went, left their land and they did not prosper where they went to. In fact, their situation became worse. Like today, we have people going abroad from Nigeria. People are going to Canada, going to many, many other countries in Europe, in America, and they are doing well. They are doing fine in Germany, in, in different countries. They are doing fine, sending money home, sending dollar home, sending euro home, turning pounds home. That is good. But not all of them are also doing good. Some people have moved from Prime Pan, which is where they call Nigeria, they have moved to fire, where they, where they have gone to. That is why the message today for us is that we should pray before we move, before we relocate. We should pray before we go to another place. We should seek the face of God. Seeking the face of God, in most places, they will say, ah, when you want to take major decisions, you have to seek the face of God, as if minor decisions don't matter. In fact, minor decisions matter more than even the major Decisions. Minor decisions matter sometimes more than the major decisions, so called. So we should we can also use the minor decisions to learn. Now a student is in a is in a primary school, you want to go to secondary school. You can use you can use that as a yardstick and pray and see the face of God. How did you decide the secondary school your child will go to? So God are happy to decide. He cannot help you to decide on other things. He cannot help you to decide on big things. So you it's like people don't pray when they want to decide some things, but when they want to decide some other things, they want to pray. So when they want to relocate, ah, the prayer is good, we don't need prayer, they go there. Oh, this something is this, we don't need to pray, we go there. We don't need to seek the face of God, we go there. In everything, we need to seek the face of God. And seeking the face of God is another topic for another day. There are different ways that God speaks to people. God speaks to people in different ways. And I pray he will speak to us in Jesus' name. Read verse 2, let's go on. And the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife Naomi. And the name of his two sons, Malon and Chilion, Ephra, Ephratite of the Bethlehem Judah. And they came to the country of Moab and continued there. Thank you. They went into the country of Moab and continued there. 
If you read Bible history, more the Moabites blocked the Israelites when they were going to the land of promise. And God have told them that the Moabites and the Israelites should not have any dealings together. How can Israel be going to Moab? Can you imagine? How can Israel be going to Moab? It's like Nigerians leaving Nigeria and go to Togo, leaving Nigeria and go to Ghana, leaving Nigeria and go to Sierra Leone, leaving Nigeria and go to the Republic. You know, the Benin Republic, um, the Benin Republic, every Niger Republic can say, ah, the Niger Republic is doing fine. Do you know what that means? It means a lot. God have told them that the Moabites, they are even cost people. They are a, like a cost nation. And because the cost nation is prospering, they left their own place and they went to the cost nation. You will not go to the cost nation in Jesus' name. I said, we will not go to the cost place in Jesus' name. So it was Moab they went to. Then sometimes you see people traveling abroad, we want to ask them, ah, this place you are going to, look before you leave. Look before you leave. If you want to relocate to somewhere, test the waters first. Test the waters. Go, go there on holidays. Don't just sell everything. You have not been there before. You just sell everything you have in your country and you go to another country. You've not checked the place. You've not even gone. Or you've not even gone on a vacation. You've not even gone on a, as a tourist to go and see how the place is and the people you are going to meet to go and ne network before you arrive. The Lord will help us and will deliver from every evil work in Jesus' name. Mm. These people, they went. Eventually, the husband died. Eventually, the two sons died. We will not die in Jesus' name. Mm. We will not die in our own land. We will not die in, our, in a strange land in Jesus' name. Mm. God is going to increase our land. God is going to prosper our land. Eventually, as we go on in that story in the book of Ruth, the Bethlehem that they left, that became prospered. Now there was bread in Bethlehem. Now there was food in Bethlehem. Now there was a lot of resources in Bethlehem. They now began to come back to Bethlehem. That will not be your story in Jesus' name. If it's not going to be your story, then think very well before you move. Then ask God very well before you take any action. In the place where you are, first of all, look. You know the book that is, that is written by this uh, class in, Acres of Diamond. He said it there. The man had Acres of Diamond. And then he sold the acre. And he went looking for diamond. And he was he had acre of diamond. He sold his own, his own acre. That is why it's not good to sell your land. It's not good to sell your property. It's not good to sell, especially land. You can sell your car. Yes, but don't sell your land. Don't sell your land. Except the land you bought it for the purpose of business. Because that land can be an acre of diamond. A land that you bought today in 2023 for 1 million or for 500,000 or even for 40,000 or 50,000 and there are lands like that. And if you want to buy land, we can help you to buy land anywhere in Nigeria and anywhere all over the world. We can help you to network and buy land. Even if it's little money you have, you have 40,000, 50,000, we can look for a bush for you. A bush today, a bush today is a city tomorrow. A city, a city today was a bush yesterday. Look at all the places, Ikeja, all those places. Those days, say Magodo, those places, Ikorodu, when they say people should buy land, those days, they say me, Inubo. Today, those places have opened up. The land there cost multiple millions of naira because it has developed. So, you can put your money in land. Don't put your money in pyramid schemes. As a Christian, don't put your money in pyramid scheme. Whether you are Christians or not, pyramid scheme, like um, they will say you have to bring this one. Then when you bring this one, you will rise. When this one rise, this one will do this. At a point, it will crash. And I pray, it will not crash on your head in Jesus' name. Amen. That is why you need to pray. And as I pray, you need to be wise. As you are wise, you need to think. As you are thinking, you need to seek the face of God. As you are seeking the face of God, you need to also read other books that give you information. Because the land where you are is a land of promise, a land of blessing. People are coming from other places to the land where you are. People are traveling down from other places to where you are to come and do things. And you, you want to leave your land and go to another land. What you should be praying for is that God open my eyes to see the, proper, the prosperity and the riches in my own land. So that I will not miss it in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes and go to God in prayer and tell God that God... Help us and guide us to all truth. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. And tell God that God, guide us to all truth today. Help us in all things to do today. Guide us. Guide us. Lead us. Help us that will not go astray. Help us that will be guided by you, will be led by you. And we pray. We will not miss our way. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Almighty God, we pray. Guide us in every way and assist us and empower us and give us the victory over every evil work in Jesus' name. Help us that we will not be foolish like this man that took his family to Moab. 
How can you take your family to Moab? How can I take my family to, let's say I want to travel abroad and not go to the Indian Republic? How can you not go to the Benin Republic? How can you not go, leave Nigeria, go even to Ghana? Why can't you look within? Why can't you look within? Why can't you look within? God can lead you anywhere, but look within and pray and seek his face. Let him direct you. Let him lead you. Let him show you the way. Don't just go on your own. And also, don't just be running at a scatter. When you have acres of diamond, don't sell the acre. Don't throw the acre away. Don't sell the acre. And the Lord will bless us and lead us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this time of 10 minutes in your presence. I pray. And thank you because you have given us illumination. And this illumination, Lord, we pray. It will carry us for years, for decades, throughout our lives. In Jesus' name. You will help us in major minor decisions. We will seek your face and we will find your face in Jesus' name. Help us to be, to be open, oh God, to understanding, to wisdom, to knowledge. In Jesus' name. Help us to look within before we look without and give us great treasure that are within help us to maximize them in G Jesus name Lord we thank you for the answer prayer so go out this time Lord we pray go with us in Jesus name this day is blessed for us in Jesus name today we shall discover gold we shall discover mind we shall discover great wealth in Jesus name today Lord we pray in this same our Bethlehem Lord we pray you open our, our eyes to plenty in Jesus name you will open us to enjoy plenty in this land in Jesus name anywhere we appear anywhere we go bless us in Jesus name all our people all our friends Friends, family members, all our, all our countrymen who have traveled far and near, Lord bless them where they are in Jesus' name. Hey, oh man. Lord, I pray those who have made mistakes in where they went to, Lord, I pray anything. Well, God help them, assist them to be able to be open to take correction and to return hey, according to your plan and purpose of their lives in Jesus' name. Hey, Thank man. you, Father, for the answer prayer. Thank in Jesus' God. name, we pray. Hey, Seven, hallelujah. 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 Praise.